Greetings and salutations. My name is Michael Schwann and welcome to the channel. We have some more reaction content for you and today we are checking out The Last Worker. Now, The Last Worker, I believe, is supposed to release on October 19th, but I could be completely wrong. And this is a narrative puzzle platformer, uh, if I remember correctly. I'm going to go take another peek at the Steam page. Narrative exploration puzzle platformer game, which, I mean, hmm... Are you fucking Wally in this? Is that what we're doing? You're just playing. <laughs> Holy shit, real the fuck. <laughs> this is terrifying. All right, anyway. So, yeah, the last worker. We'll see what they mean by that. I'm sure, I'm sure it's going to be a happy fun time, right? Why? Hi. Got a little excited with that, huh? Borderlands Light. Talk about dead eyes. I'd have dead eyes if I was the last worker. Well, that showed me nothing. That, mind you, that was the announcement trailer from March of 2021. We're going to move to January of 2022, which is a teaser for the gameplay, so. Howdy. Welcome to the Younger Fulfillment Center One Tour. I'm really I hate it. excited to be showing you around JFC One. For the first time, we are bringing the tour to you. This building is 650 million square feet, or as large as the sunken city of Manhattan, which technically makes us larger. <laughs> Millions of miles of boxes, each containing a dream come true. At Yungle, we deliver the future, except we do it right. The business's name is Yungle, like jungle, like the Amazon. Like Amazon the business and you're the work. Got now, it. Okay. Experience our cutting edge Younger Robotics Fulfillment Center. It's a combination of people, technology, and high tech computer algorithms. At Younger, nothing can stop progress. Quality starts with you. Are they shipping people? This is called the End Stage Capitalism Trailer. I wonder what kind of commentary this game is looking to make on the on, on the world. I hope you get this. I hope you see this. I made it down, down to the belly of the beast. It's worse than I thought. Far, far worse. Move fast and buy things. That's what we tell our customers when we set a product to only one left. They're stalking death, death and destruction. Family packs. Bye, bye, bye. Hey, where are you going? I said bye, not bye, bye. <laughs> this is end stage capitalism. It's the end of the road. I've seen hell. We are in hell. We must stop Jungle. We must fight fire with fire. I hope you get this. I hope you see this. Boom! Oh, look. Girly pink edition. That's a bit sexist, isn't it? I don't think it's sexy. I think it's lovely. It's pretty much odd world with bad Borderlands graphics. A little bit, yeah. They're trying to do something, but not good enough to do it. It's 
Well, I mean, you know, if you want to go really into that conversation, it takes money to make a video game, right? And they are commentating on the, you know, gross situation of the world that our late stage capitalist environment exists in. So, you know, hard to get funding for criticizing the system that you exist within. I ship people all the time, just not like this. Damn it, Eve. This this is the exclusive trailer from the summer of gaming 2022 back in June. Skew, do you mind keeping watch? I need to piss. Yeah, sure. I'm on the lookout. Yeah, just look away. Sure, yeah, yeah. I'll watch. I, I can't go if you're looking. The coast is clear, mate. There's only me here. Don't, don't look. That's what I'm saying. Just look away. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're standing <laughs> right in my crotch. Skew. What? Look away. Oh, look away. Sorry. A bit mesmerized there. Well, it's interesting, you know. I haven't got one of them. They look very impractical. No, no watching. Who am I gonna tell? Yeah, what do you want? I can do uh, trickling stream, I can do waterfall, and I can do rain. Uh, I'll hold it in. Don't, don't throw away your piss bottle. You still need it. Damn, that was the whole trailer was just commenting about Amazon workers pissing in bottles. I'll accept it. All right. Uh, and then the latest trailer, which is the future game show trailer from August of 2022. At Younger, we are all family. A family with one common goal. Customer satisfaction. Is that all of his belongings in that one little box? As the old saying goes, you can't choose your family. Except here at Yongo, we choose. Be the horse that wins the race. Be the kitten that gets the bill. Wonder why the rainbow here at the president feels icky or sinister in its purpose. Oh, that's that's absolutely intentional. So whoever that fucker is, they said his name and I forgot his name. He's definitely meant to be a caricature of I Jeff Bezos, to replace you. the CEO of Amazon or owner or whatever the fuck he is. I don't actually give a shit. Fuck Jeff Bezos. Uh, but anyway, um, and then the, the rainbow hair is definitely probably meant to be a narrative commentary piece about how they're like, yeah, we just put rainbows on shit to make us seem more friendly and happy pride and shit like that. Right. Like it's definitely meant to to be that kind of it, it's meant to be icky and sinister. I feel like every anti-capitalism indie game is the exact same game. I mean, I'm trying to think of how many of those even exist, because um, admittedly my brain is full of all of the footage we just saw, so I'm not immediately thinking of another one right offhand. But, I mean, if it gets the message across, that said, will this get the message across? I don't know. The game, like, like a couple of people have already commented on, is that I, I feel like the game has moments where it looks all right and then other moments where it really doesn't and it is interesting that you're called the last worker and you do only see the one guy right so it could be that there was does the world even still exist outside has the world run into a purely state of machine automation is there no, no people actually buying products who actually fucking knows right i imagine if you play the game you could find out especially if it's meant to be a a, a singular release so Jeff Bezos stepped back a few years ago, but is still an asshat. Yeah, I'm, I, I don't pay attention to who runs the mega corporations, only just that I strongly oppose them because it doesn't matter because they all fucking suck. And Jeff Bezos still makes, you know, comical amounts of money off of his shares uh, that he owns in Amazon. So, but anyway, so that's the last worker. It doesn't, in terms of an actual video game, I don't think I care. It literally looks like you go through some some hallways find the right box figure out how to get that box to the delivery center and that's that's your puzzle platformer the game is definitely much more focused on trying to make commentary on our current uh, capitalist hellscape that we exist within uh and the potential direction that that could go we aren't too far away from uh, having environments like this the exact state of the world that this game portrays is probably farther off than some people would to would like to uh, express to you but there has already been talks about amazon building their 
own like focused cities where like you you live in the city, you work in the city, and Amazon provides all that you need. So getting this game depending on the price, sure. And I, I think that at, while there are lots of games like this real, one of the things to keep in mind, uh, for my own perspective at least, is that I am so heavily plugged in to video games right i see a lot of games a lot of trailers and so it can feel like there are a lot of games that feel and look the same but that's not necessarily like my situation in terms of being as plugged in to video games and living and breathing and reading about them all the time every single day is not the circumstance for a very large number of people and so if there was an anti-capitalism game that came out a year ago there are people that may have seen it played it enjoyed it and there are people and those people never even heard about this game and vice versa people that will have heard about this game and maybe play and enjoy this one that have never even heard of the game that came out in the past right because it, it it's it's interesting how games exist in that sphere but that is the last worker um it doesn't it doesn't need to communicate its message to me okay like trust me i could probably ramble off for a few hours about how much capitalism sucks and the problems that it causes but that's not what we're here for uh and so if this game appeals to you or if it doesn't let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below i'd love to hear from you if you want to keep up the conversation elsewhere two great places to do so our Discord and Twitter. Speaking of Discord, we actually have a channel dedicated to these reactions where you can play the links of your own that we can check out together live on stream because we do stream four days a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, and I would love to see you there. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. If you want to catch future videos, please subscribe to the channel. And if you do watch one of the other videos on the channel or if I see you in the live stream, thank you and enjoy.